Okay, hold on. I'm gonna pop Wait, this. I'm scared. Oh my god. Okay. It's Wait! Like, oh, I think it just come off. Oh, You're yeah. Like, oh, I don't know. No, 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 like, no, 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 no. Oh my Wait, god. No! Wait, stop! It, it's okay, gonna go this way! No, not turn the window! I don't think this is like a pop one. Yeah, oh, ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> we, we all suck. Hi, you guys. Okay, so, well, okay. I wasn't actually planning on doing something like this. Oh god. Good morning. Oh god. What? You look oh good. Oh no, you can see it. What, you put your foundation on? Stop it. Ugh. I've been testing out new foundation. I want to put on the record <laughs> that when I used to work at Clever and I would put makeup on my face, Shane would make so much fun of me for having makeup products. No, or like, no, 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 no. The yeah. problem was you would pretend like it wasn't makeup. I'd be like, are you putting on makeup? And you'd be like, no, it's my lotion. And then you would take a beauty blender and- <laughs> I had a tinted moisturizer. So if I had a that's massive zit- make it, That's makeup. If that's I had a makeup. massive zit, I would cover the zit with tinted moisturizer and he would drag me all day about it. And now you here. literally would cover your face in it. No, now you're here covered with oh foundation. God, you can see the contour. Okay, here's the thing. I know, we're sick of Shane talking about makeup. I get it, same. I'm sick of buying makeup. I literally, I need to stop. I just, look at this. This is no, just from today. our house and I can't, so those are just a few boxes. I've taken out the other and there's a bunch more boxes over here. There's more boxes over here. You can make the house all you want, but when you fucking see me putting on my foundation with my Clarisonic, Bitch, you're gonna be jealous. <laughs> oh God, am I smudging it? Okay, I makeup. Wanna learn. Ooh, I wanna wait, learn. we gotta get back to the good. Here we go. So makeup is not the reason why we're here today. I thought it would be oh so rude if we didn't at least talk you through our engagement a little bit. Shane, I'm distracted oh. by an actual person. Okay, oh. Andrew literally spent 15 minutes making that oh, today. That's cute. It's gonna be triggering when the balloon pops oh my God. and the headphones are alone. Hi, okay. Ari. Shane, we gotta get to the point. Okay, hold As on. I was saying, whoa, it looks like I'm wearing makeup with this light. Oh in God, the kitchen. Do we miss? It got in my mouth. Oh my God, thank you, Tatcha. So like I was saying, it would be very odd and weird if we didn't at least bring you along on our engagement a little bit. I thought we would do a little story time. I thought Shane could tell you about his failed attempts. I, right? You were gonna do it a few times. Well, okay, so here's the thing. Wait, no, what we should be doing, okay. We have these cute glasses with the date of our engagement. Oh, yeah. We should be pouring like champ I already poured myself a glass of wine, but I could re-pour it here. Will you grab this for a second? Wait, what? Got the box of donuts? donuts? Yeah, I can grab that. Or for wait, my four million doing? subscribers. Hi, thank you guys very much. <laughs> um, okay, here, wait. Can you film me for a second? I, I was gonna have wine anyways to celebrate, but I thought why, oh, I haven't cleaned these yet. You only live once. This is a champagne glass, but this is white wine with ice, because that's how I drink my white wine. Nobody Don't wanted judge me. That well, are you gonna like put your root beer in here for the oh, moment? Oh yeah. Oh my god, wait, that's me. Holy shit. But I'm baking my face. Okay, sorry. Oh, do your trick. Do your trick. What? Oh yeah. I learned this from my priest. Don't ask. It's a really weird story. Okay, wait. Don't take a sip. We gotta cheers. Why? To our engagement. Wait, wait, wait. What are we gonna say? But, well, this is just like the tip of the iceberg. Whoa. <laughs> Can't wait to go down like the Titanic! <laughs> oh. Oh, that's okay, can we sit down and like actually talk for a second? No, I want to yeah. eat the donut. Or, no, I want. I need to stop eating the donut. That's the thing. No amount of contour can take away my donut weight, and I do not want to. Well, wait. I saw something that J Lo's makeup artist did on Tati that like chiseled her chin. Which yeah, that doesn't work on people like me. Turn to the camera, just turn your head over. See that? And what I mean by that is people who have five necks. Let's feel how I'm kind of working mm -hmm. upwards and going against it. Can we also talk about the fact that I proposed on two knees, but we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> okay, let me sit down. I, Shane hates the idea of like formally sitting down because he feels like it's too proper. I think it's necessary, especially for this. Why wouldn't we sit? You don't want, because everyone comments on like my shaky movement. You're making me reason. sick right now. I'm making them sick too. They Wait, tell me all the time. To, this is supposed to be like a cute, you're, it's so sad. Like your arm starts shaking and get crampy because you have to hold it up so high. For me. <laughs> well, I know you like your angle. That's why I'm marrying you. That's true love. Wait, okay, okay. 
You want me to just keep holding this here? Yeah. My arm's shaking. It's literally shaking. It's not my fault that God gave me seven necks, and all seven of them can't wait to spend the rest of their lives with you. Should I just set up <laughs> tripod in the kitchen? No. That way we can stand so, okay, with this good here's lighting. Here's the thing. Here's what happened. I was gonna tell him a couple of my proposal ideas, and then I, well, okay, I was like, listen. I don't want to do like a cheesy proposal video, but I feel like this is a cute thing to look back on when we're old. It's like, oh, we're talking about our proposal and like showing our, we haven't even shown my ring because no. my, my ring was too small. I had to get a bigger one. Um, <laughs> and so now it's too big. For once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do we like the kitchen lighting? Should I set up in here? I could just put something right here. I kind of like that. I don't know. Yeah. Okay, hold please. <sighs> Wait, is it Wait, in Hi. wait a minute. I busted out the nice camera. Wait, my face looks okay. Well, yeah, it's because you have makeup on. No, honestly. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> honestly though, it is because Shane, I will say, I'm in favor of Shane wearing makeup because now he washes his face. And I think the overall cleanliness of his face has improved 100%. Because he used to have like dry flakes and we couldn't figure out why. And now I just think it's because you weren't washing your face. Love you. <laughs> I love you so much. I feel like I need a box to stand on so that it's not distracting that I'm so much shorter than you. What are we doing? What was I doing? Oh, okay. Our engagement. What? We're getting married. Wait, Hi, so how are you? what is this? Cause okay, so well wait, no, this is your channel. I'm confused. You're okay. wearing a ring. Here, oh my gosh, I am wearing my ring. If it's not gonna focus on the ring, then I'll do like a, a, I'll insert something here. It is honestly so perfect. Shane and I really didn't talk about like rings or anything and you nailed, like this is, I could not have asked for a more perfect ring for me. Well, here's the truth. This is dark. It, oh, well. Cause I know my foundation shade is right. <laughs> so it's the lighting. <laughs> it's like, I matched it. It's dark, right? Or no? Do you want me to fix it? Do you want it to be lighter? It's so crazy, like, how? You have one shimmer of glitter right there. I highlight. Remember to not look at ourselves the entire time. I know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. The ring picking experience. So, well, well, wait, before we get into that, I do want to say, sorry, I'm cutting you off. We didn't want to do like the typical, here, we're going to post the moment of Shane engaging, just be, or proposing. Well, we didn't want to just post a video because the video you filmed the day before we got engaged was you and your family playing with goats on your back. Oh. <laughs> you want to go oh. up yeah. into downward facing dog? Oh, so funny. Okay. Come up. Hey, buddy. Oh, that hurt. How can I see? I might not have enough surface in your Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we're oh, going to no. well, Coming soon. We were both like, is it weird to not say like, oh, we got engaged? So that's why I was like, oh, we should just like talk about it. That could be kind of cute and fun. We don't have to show like the actual moment. That's kind of a little too much. Oh, I think we could give them like a tiny bit. The full video is like for us to cherish for the rest of our lives. I think we can- For me to, I still haven't like actually watched it just because I've I- I've watched it like a million times. Really? Yeah, I think it's the cutest thing I've ever experienced really? ever. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> We're sure such assholes. You can't see it. <laughs> I've showed all of my uh, friends really? too. What the fuck? Yes. You didn't say you were gonna do that? It's like the best moment of my life. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I was gonna start crying and they started drinking and it's just like, I like stopped, okay. <laughs> and you got um, down on two knees. Okay, we didn't want to make the cheesiest engagement video in the world, but we feel we owe it to you to kind of let you in on how it happened and the experience of all of it, just because you've supported the entire journey of us. You also don't know the whole story. Wait, what? So I've been holding back some stuff because I was like, oh, we were like, make a video about this or something. It would be funny to talk about my failed attempts because this is something I've been planning for a long time. Well, I can at tell- At least six months. Well, I know that you've been planning it at least since before Christmas because there were some people on Twitter who caught Shane shopping for rings and Snapchatted it. And then a bunch of you were retweeting it on Twitter. And then I knew that he was shopping for rings and I had to confront him about it because I couldn't sleep at night because I was like, why were you shopping for rings? What's going on? Yeah, that was really sad. I was really sad. Usually, well, so, okay. Uh, that was hard, that was sad. But you knew that I was gonna propose this I mean, I listen, knew you fucking were gonna do we it. wouldn't have moved to the middle of nowhere together if I didn't think that you and I were gonna be together forever. So I did expect that you were going to propose at some point. However, I didn't know it was going to be as soon as when I saw the person post that video on Twitter. Right. My original idea was gonna be something involving 
Las Vegas because that's where we loved going. Like we love going to Las Vegas. So I was in the pre-stages of planning my big Las Vegas event. Well, we got tickets to see Britney Spears on Valentine's Day, her opening night. It would be too obvious for Britney Spears to come out and be like, uh, Sean has something to say for Jackson. And then me be like, it's Shane and Ryan. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like, love Britney though. Love, literally my queen. Um, but she doesn't give a fuck probably. So it wasn't gonna work, but I did have this plan for Vegas and I was gonna do something like that. I was gonna see if I could get somebody to come perform like in our hotel room. So it's almost like when we open up the hotel room, maybe Britney Spears would already be in there oh. performing. And then, you know what I mean? Something crazy and not even on camera, literally just for us. Well, that right? could still be our bachelorette party. We're gonna do that together, right? Or do you not do that together? I don't know how anything in the wedding world works. Great, me neither. So that didn't work because Britney canceled all of her shows and left Vegas. <laughs> So then at that point, I was like, well, there's no reason to go there. Plus, I really did want to do it on our third anniversary because that's like a month after Valentine's Day. We did end up going to Mexico instead of Vegas because we had scheduled out that time to go on vacation. And I was dead set that you were then going to propose in Mexico so much to the point that I think you could feel that. And then before we went to Mexico, he felt the need to say, just so you know, like, I love you so much, but it's not happening on this trip. Well, yeah, because I feel like proposing in Mexico is too obvious. Everybody proposes in Mexico, which is great, but I'm like, we can't do that. It's too obvious. Right. What's the plan? Okay. So then I shifted. And I started thinking about like, oh, our third anniversary, what if I recreate our first date, but in like a crazy way. And this is something I've been working on since Christmas. So my original thought was, you know, taking Ryland out to dinner to go to the same restaurant that we went on our first date. And there's actually one closer to us, like by our house. It's like, okay, we'll go to this restaurant and be like, oh, we're gonna recreate our first date. And then I was gonna even put on the outfit that I wore on our first date, <laughs> except it literally doesn't fit. I tweeted it, it's embarrassing. It's like actually scary and like makes me really spiral. What was I talking about? Our first date. Right. I was gonna wear that outfit because I thought that's kind of funny, whatever. And then, you know, pick you up. I was gonna rent a Prius because that's the kind of car I drove. Oh. I was gonna have to get my license renewed so I could actually drive. And I would have known something was up if you wanted to drive me because I don't think you've driven me in over a year. My plan was I would be like, oh, I have a funny vlog idea for you. Right. So I was gonna be like, oh, get your camera. I have this vlog idea. So I was gonna pick you up in the fucking Prius, take you to the restaurant in my shitty ass, you know, tight shirt. And then we'd order the same thing. After that, I was gonna come back to the house. And when we opened the door, I was gonna get, so the gift I gave you on our first date was a mug and it had Hillary Duff oh on it. Oh my gosh, I have a photo of it, I'll put it in. Yeah, it had Hillary Duff on it and it said, good morning, Ryland. That was something I gave you because you said like, your job was a little depressing and I wanted to make your, your days a little brighter and you loved Hillary Duff and so did I. We connected over that. <laughs> so on our first date, I brought you this mug that you could put on your desk and you could be happy when you saw it. My thought was we'd come back home and when you open the door, there would be like a life-size huge coffee mug with a big square cut out <laughs> in the living room right here. Like huge, like huge. And inside of it would be Hilary Duff standing there. And then she'd say, good morning, Ryland. And then you'd be like, what the fuck is going on, right? So then <laughs> she would be like, Shane has something he wants to ask you. Then I would, you know, get down pose and talk about like our first date and how this has been the best three years of my life. And then after you said yes, hopefully, uh, I'd, you know, get Hillary an Uber and then we- <laughs> How much did you inquire? Like how much was she gonna charge? We'll get to that. So then, yeah, you know, I was gonna do that. And then on our first date, after dinner, we came back to my place and we watched a bunch of Ricky Dillon music videos on YouTube. Cause you had never heard of Ricky Dillon or like music videos no. on YouTube or any of that. And I was like, this is my favorite thing ever. Problematic, are you serious? Like, how do you not know about that? <laughs> after, you know, you had the ring and everything. I'm like, okay, let's take our, you know, first dance or whatever as a couple. And then I was going to take us outside and I was going to have a full stage set up with Ricky Dillon performing Problematic with Snoop Dogg. And they were going to perform the whole thing live just for us. You know what I mean? Like everything from the first date, but elevated. And then of course, Ricky Dillon would be like, congrats guys. <laughs> fun. Yeah, fun. And then uh, after that, you know, I get Ricky and, and Snoop Ubers. <laughs> Or you know what, Ricky and Snoop and Hillary could Uber pool. And then they all, you know, they go back. And then after that, <laughs> we, you know, uh, start giving each other hand jobs in the night. <laughs> I have to pee and then we stop. That's what we did. On that is day. what we did on our first day after I like aggressively dry hump tip. Wait, so why did none of this happen? <sighs> so I wrote this long ah! deep, like message to Hillary ah! and it was really sweet. I would read it, but I feel like that's weird. Did she deny? No, she actually said yes. She replied? So I sent it to my agent who sent it to her agent because we have similar, whatever, it's confusing. But 
Yeah, she read it, she got it. And she supposedly, from what they said, was excited and was like, oh my God, I can't wait, I love this. The only problem is I'm gonna be in New York shooting my show younger, so if, if he wants me to be a part of it, I either have to do it this date or this date. And it was so before our anniversary and then so after our anniversary. Right. I was just like, well then that's like, as much as I want that, it kinda, what's the point then? It's, it's kinda weird, day, kinda yeah. random. She was like, oh, I can send a video or like whatever. And um, and then I I said, okay, but she never sent one, but she's also <laughs> busy. So Hillary, I get it. We still stand. We still live. <laughs> so then once that kind of wasn't happening, I was like, oh my God, okay, what do I do, what do I do? During that whole process, I had been looking for rings. Now I went to so many different ring places. I sent pictures of rings to Morgan, which is actually funny because I sent a picture to Morgan on like a week before Christmas being like, what about this ring? And she's like, oh my God, you're proposing, oh my God. I ended up not getting that ring and not really talking about it to her. So she literally thought for the last four months that we were just- That you should, it after <laughs> it happened, my she goes, wait, I, I just thought you changed your mind and I wasn't gonna say anything. I was like, I was like oh yeah, I, just, I should have followed up and been like, <laughs> still wanna marry him, but yeah. not the right ring. Yeah, that ring didn't work. I don't know, I just didn't have a good feeling about it. And ring stores are crazy, and all of them are made me uncomfortable in so many ways. There's no, uh, nah, I don't wanna get political, because I don't really care, but yeah, it was weird. Constantly having to be like, it's for him, and then, then be like, but that's a girl ring, and I'm like, but he's kind of a girl, it's complicated. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> really? He's gonna wear that? It's sparkly. I know, but you know, just look at his slides and then, you know, get back to me. But anyway, so then I finally found, I went to Tiffany's, which is like a jewelry store. And the girl that I've, I know there, like I bought stuff from her for three years, you know, like Christmas gifts for my mom and stuff. And she knows me in Ryland. So then when I like called her and I was like, I'm gonna propose. And she was just like, oh my God, I'm freaking out. So then she like helped me for you know, a couple of weeks really find the right one and this was the one Which, that I yeah, made. it is, there's nothing more perfect for me in the world. Like, it's kind of feminine, but it's masculine enough. Are you talking about me or the ring? <laughs> Both. Thank you. No, it really is, like, I just, it's so, so perfect. So, then I had the ring. I was like, you know, trying to figure it out. And this was maybe a month ago when I was planning. So I booked this suite at this hotel that we love that we've been to, you know, at least once a year for the last few years. And I had this whole plan for that. And I was gonna, you know, set up all these things and do all these things. Then I found out that his family was coming to town <laughs> on those three days. <laughs> on our anniversary. Which I thought was like, oh, okay. That would be weird to be like, okay, guys, we'll be right back. We're just gonna go to this hotel. That's so shady and weird. Like, <laughs> just say it's our anniversary. We're gonna go to this hotel. See you soon. Like, so then uh, I had to cancel the hotel reservations. Oh, I know, which is the whole thing. And then they were just like, oh my God, did you change your mind? And I was like, because they knew about the proposal. And I was just like, oh my God, oh God. Anyways, so that happened. So this is like, what, strike four, I think, at this point? Then, when I found out your family was coming, I was even more excited. You just embrace it. Well, no, because I was actually like, oh, my initial plan a long time ago was to figure out a way to have your family involved. Everything just kind of fell in line. I made reservations at a certain restaurant that wasn't too obvious, but it was on the beach. Yeah, because I, I kind of- the beach. Yeah. My grandma loves the ocean, and I, it kind of was like, I felt like I had planned it with him. There was zero suspicion on my side, just because I thought it was so casual that we would just, oh, when my family leaves, we'll go to dinner and that will be our anniversary. Yeah. And then things went wrong again and we were supposed to go at sunset, but then our Uber just didn't show up. Literally just didn't come. Didn't cancel, just didn't show up. So then we <laughs> had to get another Uber and he was late, it was dark. So then we go, I'm car sick at this point, the beach, it's dark and I'm like, oh no, what do I do? Like, I don't, what am I gonna do? And we're at a restaurant. So then we pull up to the restaurant and something in my head was like, it's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be good. Just trust, trust the plan. Okay, we get out of the Uber. His whole family's looking at me like, cause earlier that day I told them what I was gonna do and they all cried and I cried and we all hugged and then, you know, ran was asleep or something. So uh, that was great. Yeah. And uh, we get out of the car. His whole family's looking at me like, well, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. We're literally at like the valet station and I'm just like, I'm gonna do it in front of the Uber. Like, I don't know. Ah! So then I was like, oh, is there a good view of the beach? Let's get a picture. And then Ryland's like, oh, there's a, around. there's something right over here in the middle of this parking lot. There was like a cliff that was overlooking the water and the restaurant had it all lit up. So the whole beach was lit up and the waves were lit Crashing up. Crashing And it was like a too. little bench. So then I'm just like, oh, 
my god, like god, the universe is like really setting this up, holy fuck, the plan, it's all working. And then his family's like, oh, you guys should get a cute picture. So then we sit down on the bench and his family's taking pictures, well, but they're looking at me like, Taking do pictures it? together. I didn't know you were being weird until moments before you actually did it. And it started with our whole family taking pictures. And now looking back at pictures, oh, Shane was telling it. me like, oh, you can tell how nervous I was and like how on edge and it's so funny. Also how fat I look, but we're not gonna Stop talk about it. It was crazy. I literally looked like I ate like a whole Shane. What? No. It was bad. No. No, we're burning that. And so <laughs> we're burning our engagement photos. Then we'll keep one. Morgan, Morgan pulls out her vlog camera because she's like, oh, I'm gonna get pictures with the flash. And I was like, perfect. I was like, are your settings right? Because I'm always crazy. They're like, oh, take one, you know, standing next to each other, but I had the ring in my pocket right here. And I was like, oh my God, if he feels the ring, he's gonna know, he's gonna know. So then I'm like doing these weird body things, but he probably didn't think anything of it because I was like, you know, maybe he thought I was contorting my body to like <laughs> get a better angle, <laughs> whatever. So there's those pictures, which are awful. And then I finally turned to you and I was just like, and then I just started crying. I don't remember what I said. We were like already hugging, so it was cute because I was like kissing you and you're just like, I wish it was sunset. And then he got really weird and really quiet and I was just like, wait, what, what? And he's like, I'm sorry. And I was like, what? He's like, I love you more than anything. I was like, wait, what? And then he just kind of like got down on both knees. Stop it, Shane, no. Are you serious? <laughs> I, you can tell in my face, was so shocked because I literally thought we were going to dinner because my grandma loves steakhouses <laughs> and she loves the ocean and it's a steakhouse on the ocean. <laughs> so I'm like so visibly shocked. I just started crying and then he started crying and we were just both crying and then he said yes and then we just started crying and we stood there crying for a long time. And then people, literally it was so long that your family just kind of left. <laughs> well, they were just I was like, okay. And then they like went inside and then we just stayed out there and kept crying. I'm crying in the club. I'm shaking. So Ryan, get point down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Uh, it really glistens with the flash. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Taco Bell. <laughs> wow. Okay. And then we took more pictures like on our own phones, like. And then ourselves. the whole dinner was just like a blur because I was there, the waiter kept being like, well, what do you want? I was like, I don't really care, just like bring me whatever, I <laughs> can't think. And there was one moment, I feel like, I don't want to show the actual, like, I don't know, whatever, it's, it's like, whatever. But there was one moment of the proposal that was, it's so actually funny how staged it looks, like a movie, like a Lifetime movie, where the wave like crashes right behind us as I'm like literally proposing <laughs> or something. It's crazy. It was also so special to have my family there because it's something I'll remember for the rest of my life and especially my grandma too. And so I thought there was honestly no better way. I mean, the Hillary Duff thing would be elaborate and silly and fun, but this just meant so much because everyone, I mean, my brother wasn't here with his fiance, but other than that, it was like so cute and so perfect. And I just, so I was sad at first because everything went wrong. I had one, two, three, so many attempts, so many ideas, so many things kind of flopped and fell through. But I think at the end of the day, it was perfect because it was simple and it was on our anniversary. Unexpected for Unexpected. Me. And it was just like, I don't know. I'm really happy with how it all went down. Me too. I think it felt whole and everyone was there in the best way. Yeah. So, well, can we show them the ring we picked out for you? Also, are you sad that like you didn't get proposed to? No. Oh my God, no. Sorry, I just saw it in my head. I saw me standing there and then you like on one knee next to me, literally looking like I'm a giant and you're like, that would be awful. No, no I'm really happy. Well, <laughs> no, when we, did, when we did get your ring though, I did like ask, confirm that you still wanted to marry me and got on my knee. It wasn't right. like a proposal, but it was like a, are you sure you want to do this? That literally just happened an hour ago, by the way. <laughs> well, yeah, because we picked out his ring a second ago, but then he had to. We had to get the right size, which actually ended up being too big, but whatever. So what? Wait, are you gonna put it on? 
Yeah, where did you put it? So, first of all, I don't know how this works. Are are we both supposed to wear one? Because I know in like a straight relationship, the girl wears an engagement ring, and then on the wedding day, they both put on bands or whatever. Right. So, technically, I don't think we were even supposed to be wearing them. Who cares? Yeah, because I want everyone, if you do go in public, in the rare occasion that you decide to leave, I want everyone to know that you have a man. So, maybe for the wedding, we could get like a, I don't think you'll wear a second ring, but we could just get something that symbolizes like, we'll figure it out. I think this for now. That was perfect. So should I wear this? I think so. I want you to. I need to get a tighter one though so it doesn't fall off when I'm wiping my butt. <laughs> Shay! What? But I love you. Well yeah, he said today when he was washing his hands it kind of into the sink. Yeah. So if it went down the drain I'd be very sad. Okay, so here is the ring. Let me get this It's focus. not worth like an unveiling. Well, it's simple. It's a very like man ring because we looked at some other ones that had like a little diamond in it and stuff. But it didn't feel right for Shane, like having a dainty ring with a diamond on it. Yeah, I wouldn't want anything too flashy. That's very not me. <laughs> Anyways. Well, I didn't want anything too feminine. <laughs> Hold on, let me just set my, <laughs> let me just set my foundation. Do you I, want me to get you a different ring? I mean, no, I'm not asking for a carrot. I mean, I'm just asking <laughs> for... Fine, well, <laughs> I think what I could do is honestly, when we do get married, wait, why the fuck are you wearing my ring? Oh, I don't know. Here, let me. Just, I still want to show them, even if it's, it's not, literally just plain. Okay, that's what I want. It's not the most flashy, but what it is. Oh wait, why isn't it not focused? Because it's on not a hundred million dollars. Okay, so you don't like the ring? I'm offended. No, I wasn't. I picked it up. Okay, that is true. But I did tell, I was like trying to order other ones to be like, oh my god, this is so weird. What? I don't know. Just like showing my hand and there's a ring on it. I'm That's so weird! <laughs> it, it, I mean, it is a little odd, like, I'm still getting used to always wearing a ring because I never wear rings, and I'm like, oh, wait, it's not just a ring, it's a, a, a wedding Whoa. ring or an engagement ring. Whoa, I'm old. Well, yeah, we're both old. Oh my god, we haven't... I'm like a dad. Oh my god. I, mean, you're not... I always like joke, like, oh, dad, I'm like dad, I'm like a big, thick daddy. I'm literally a big, <laughs> thick daddy with a ring. And then when we get married, I'll actually get you, like, a no, cute I diamond like, moment. I like this one. Yeah, but you could get a diamond, too. Oh, I don't want a diamond. Imagine me like sitting with a crying YouTuber being like, listen, just like this big fucking, listen, I hear you <laughs> and I understand. I'm going to help you. <laughs> Sorry, did I blind you? As far as the actual like wedding situation, I have ideas. We have ideas. Yeah. But it's not going to be a, isn't, we're not going to, it's not, don't, it's not like don't a, worry, we're not going there. You know what I mean? They're not, not like, wait, but they probably want to come along, so you're just crushing people's dreams. If that's their dream, to I, see me in a suit that's way too tight. Maybe not their dream, but they probably would click it if it was there. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> what a romantic. <laughs> we have a lot of fun ideas for our wedding. We want it to be more so a party than a wedding. I want to do a car. Yeah. I want to do something fun. I want it to be like something fun and you know, we'll have a little ceremony, but like for the actual thing, I don't know. Carnival so that's games, fun. carnival rides. So if you see me like looking for carnival rides. If we get five more big slides in the back of our yes, car. Yes, if you're wondering why there's so many inflatable slides in my yard, it's because I'm doing my fucking research for my fucking wedding. Stop coming for me. <laughs> Okay. I feel like, is this cheesy to talk about this kind of <laughs> yes, stuff? Yes, it is cheesy, but I feel that we owe it to everyone for supporting literally our entire relationship. It's all hitting me in a weird way. Like all the times we have joked about getting married or being married. A lot. You in wedding dresses, so many of those. And uh, you know, you wearing a ring, pretending <gasps> we'll like wear a dress. me, pictures of me with like a ring pop or you with a ring and being like, we're getting engaged. And that was actually like, that's so crazy. It's also crazy that Andrew's just like right upstairs <laughs> waiting for his food that just got delivered and we're like not giving it to him and he's just like probably just waiting. Wait, wait I mean, I don't mind if he's down here. No. Oh, he should toast. Andrew! He's kind of part of our relationship. Yeah, I mean, he's at he our really house as much as we are. He really is. Lisa came over today just to say hi and she was just like, oh, Andrew, does he live here? And I was like, yeah, kind of. <laughs> wait, do we have, oh wait, we I should get it. another little thing. It's what is this? It's champagne. This is like what we should have been drinking, but I prefer white wine. Hi, Andrew. We were gonna do a toast. Oh, cool. To the next we're phase. We're forcing you to toast to us. Well, it just felt right because we were joking about you being upstairs waiting for oh. your food. Do you prefer us to open the champagne or do you like wine or do you want straight whiskey? Oh, I guess oh. the champagne one. Oh my god, and JoJo's here? Sorry. Yeah, I think I have something in my teeth though. I don't think they'll be able to tell. Cool. Wait, what Who's are you... gonna open the champagne? I don't know. Does anybody, is anybody experienced, Andrew? Mm, I don't see anything. You had something in your teeth last night and it was fucking crazy. Me? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about What was last night? I thought I would never. I know. 
<laughs> evidence of that weird moment. <laughs> Wait, so happy. wait, do you know how to do this? No. Well, no, it's not gonna Wait, you pop have off. to show the woman on the thing. It's insane. It's just like this woman. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm gonna pop Wait, wait I'm scared. Oh my god. Okay. It's wait! Like, oh, I think it just come off. Oh, You're yeah. Playing. I don't oh, know. No, 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 no. Wait, not near the fucking mic! Oh, oh my god. No, wait, stop! What? It, it's okay, gonna go this way. way! No, not through the window! Jeez, like, like, <laughs> okay, the window. I don't think this is like a pop one. Yeah. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> we, we all suck. <laughs> I mean, if there's a dent in our wall, it's like our engagement dent. Oh my god. <laughs> Where did you get this shit? Whoa! Whoa! Sorry, I'm gonna mix it with my mouth. This <laughs> How do we do this? Wait. Wait! Oh my god, like in a movie? Wait! Oh my god! Is the ring like okay in that? I don't know. So you're gonna that's have to that's drink that's it all to get it out. That's how they do it in the movies. Okay, well don't let it sit there for too long. Okay, Andrew, come on in. Okay. You're a part of this family, this dysfunctional family of oh. ours. Okay. Um, to... <gasps> what? <laughs> to Jojo? To dream... <laughs> <laughs> to dreaming big. I can't wait for this next chapter in all of our lives. I thought I had it. Sorry. Oh my god, I love you. Okay. I can't wait for us to... Not ever get divorced because oh my god how awkward this video is going to be later. <laughs> oh. I, try, we're not letting that happen. No. We're staying together forever. Two. <laughs> Come on. You got to just toast it. What is that? Was that it? <laughs> All right. I love you. One day. No, no, no. Well, I got it. I got it. I got it. Uh, your ring's like molding. <laughs> if your ring is molding, you gotta like, get, a, get your receipt out. <laughs> All right, come on. Um, um to, to to um to life and to fun and to uh, to everybody that's not here right now in our house. We miss you. This wasn't planned. I feel like are we letting people out? Is we leaving people out? It's like we're gonna be sad here. We're people. Also, this isn't for the video, but don't like forget your rings in there as well. Yeah, this um, literally wasn't planned that like Andrew was gonna be a part of this. So Morgan, oh my God, Garrett, like my mom. <laughs> is this drama? We're not so, leaving people guys, out. We listen. <laughs> I'm Tell okay. everybody to our family! I should probably just leave. Right? Well, no, no, you're here. <laughs> I feel guilty about it all. <laughs> He's witnessed enough of our lives that he deserves to cheers with us. Oh wait, us. no, you were part of me planning the proposal. Okay. Love you! Okay, love you, cheers. Wait, what do I do? How do I, okay. Now put it on your finger. That was a really That good. actually literally came so fast, it almost went down my throat. This is the end of this video. I hope you. This has been stressful. <laughs> it's been a stressful. It's been really stressful. Thank you for all your support. I literally like it was insane how much people were just showing love to us. And I definitely, um, uh, yeah, it was nice. <laughs> Not to go back there. He in needed that place, it, but uh, yeah, that was unexpected and nice. Okay. All right. We'll love see you. See you next love week. You. Regular videos. Love you too. Are you drunk? No. Not yet. Okay. Bye. Bye. Boom, look at that.